they're just teasing me. Looks like we're gonna need to purchase some Mario insurance. Oh, come on. This probably was this also bullshit? made by a kid. I, I'm waiting for another meme. <laughs> little vulgar, dude. The people living below us are gonna get mad again and come up and knock on the door. Just, could you please, could you please? Like, I, I haven't been able to sleep for nights. I'm sorry, we didn't know you lived below us. Can you, can you, can you please just, just lower your complaint down a bit, please? <laughs> Let's complain about her complaining. <laughs> yeah, she just complained about us making a little too much noise. Well, well, and, and to, to be fair, like... Ah, I'm being such a little bitch. Ryan, just go. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm scared of them. To, to be fair, like, we this? were told that the woman that lives below us wasn't going to be back until May. But apparently that's not true. So so we're just being loud, like at like four in the morning mm -hmm. every single night, and then apparently she yeah. she's been like just <laughs> laying in bed awake, just <laughs> eyes bloodshot because we we've been keeping her up. And I like and like I, I have a subwoofer under my desk, so I've been like editing videos and like playing music and stuff, and and it's just been just doom, 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 and then like moving shit around and then like. Like, I'm just the, gonna... the, the final straw was was Lego tripped over some cords tonight and just like knocked over all our microphone and recording equipment and stuff, and and he like freaked out and ran around the Fuck apartment. Fuck this level! Fuck it! What is this bullshit? Yo, my dad is not like the rest. He's kind of like a cute girl, just minus the breast. I gotta get more power. We're fighting! Ugh, damn it! What? Oh. It's supposed to go. Why? It's supposed to jump. God. Ooh. Maybe this is this is harder than it looks. Open that mouth, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh. Yeah, boy. You about to do it, boy. This is the equivalent. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Catherine, the woman below us, is just gonna. She's trying to lay in bed asleep, and she just hears. It's <laughs> me fucking around up here. Us, us dicking around, making videos of us playing video games for YouTube. Virtual golf. mini golf simulator. Virtual random shape golf simulator. Game because it. Ah! Nice. I feel like this is gonna be the one. I'm not. I'm, I'm... Do you want me to knock on wood just in case? Yes. Thanks. Was that Catherine? Oh shit, <laughs> guys. The woman that lives below us. We have been so careful to be quiet. Like quiet hours are 10 o'clock at our apartment complex, and we walk on our tiptoes. And like, and like, we told her like the first time she complained because we didn't even know she was beneath us. And yeah. we were like, "Hey, we're so sorry. Yeah, we we'll try to be quiet." And we were. And then today, Ryan goes down to the office to go because we have a problem with our dishwasher. And and what do you know? She's written an email, a, a little email with a bunch of run-on sentences about us, about how last night at 2 a.m. she heard no! a thump, and then at 5 a.m. she heard another thump. Like, what, what, what do you what do you mean? I mean, Lego jumps down from my bed. So and and my cat will knock things off the dresser at like 3 a.m. sometimes, but that kind of thing happens. You can't complain about everything. It's like you live in an apartment complex on you the ex bottom floor. You expect to hear noises from. A uh, dude, spoiler alert! You're gonna hear other people living their goddamn lives. And and we don't we don't want to be assholes. Like be like, oh, people are complaining that we're being too loud. What what assholes? No, we understand. Like if you're if people are being if we if we're being loud, then we should be quiet. But. With, with, you know, with this woman, we tiptoe we're... around like all hours of the day. Yeah, example. even when it's not quiet hours, we still tiptoe around because we're trying to be like nice to this woman. And and, and you know, now it, the tables have turned. <gasps> Get in there, donkey. I, I'm just imagining that she's downstairs in her apartment and she has like her walls tin foiled, and she has like a, she has like <laughs> headphones on with like a little audio meter, <sighs> and she like hears the thump and she like writes it down on <laughs> a notepad like 2:33 a.m. Level <laughs> two sound, and she's like writing, she's documenting all of them. Dude, is this gonna be the one? I don't know, dude. You knocked on wood, though, right? I did knock on wood. Okay, good. Oh, you fucking piece of shit! Jump, run and Hold jump on. over that part. Yeah! That's right, brother! That's right, my brother! We are Ryan! We're like the Super Mario Brothers! Matt Watson and Ryan McGee from Super Mega? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me go. Can we start again? No, you can't erase. I'm giving. I'm taking off my shoes, is that okay? okay. No. Wait, listen, listen! Oh, fuck my Dude! Dude! <laughs> Are you making loud banging noises? No. Oh, wait, we don't have Catherine to worry about anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah guys, sorry. about that. Catherine, <laughs> Catherine yes. moved out. She doesn't live underneath us anymore. I'm taking off my socks as well. No, oh, fuck, oh, dude! No. <laughs> he just put his fucking sock in his nose. <laughs> <Matt's> <laughs> nose. <laughs> we've, been, we've been walking around VidCon all day. That smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was purple?
Who is slamming their door? It's right below us. It's not Catherine, because Catherine moved out because she got fired. <laughs> Catherine was like, told us she was moving out because we were too loud. But then we found out secretly that Catherine actually got fired, and that's the reason she's moving out. So, ha ha, Catherine, ha ha. So childish. Probably shouldn't be that loud about it if people can hear us. Yeah, we realized that uh, we did a little experiment. Oh, oh! It's that little fucker. Yeah, but but we recently conducted an experiment, and we found out that every time we're recording, like, everything we yell, you can hear right outside our apartment door in the hallway of our apartment complex. So, like, every time we scream bad words and say naughty things, uh, people outside... Well, and it's not even a problem of when we're recording. It's more of just when Ryan and I are just hanging out, and we start yelling at each other in a stupid, idiotic way. Yeah. Nice, dude! Kill him! Come back out. Yeah! Okay. 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 Oh, there's another one. There's another one of those little shits! It's okay. You got it, Ryan. You got this. Jump, jump. Oh, oh come on! Um, I just know, like, Leko's got some long limbs. He has really he, long limbs. He's got a, like he's just a big goofy mess. He doesn't know how to. He's he's a tiny. He's a he has the mind of a newborn pup, like a very excited pup. Maybe not a newborn. That's because then he'd be slimy. Never mind. And he's got the mind of a little puppy in the body of like an adult mentally handicapped dog. <laughs> yeah, and he and he runs around and do 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 do, and then he and then he always he's always slipping and slamming and sliding and. He's, down. he's splishing. He's splashing. Just freaking around. Yeah. Yeah. But he, um, you know, he always like, I remember that one time I opened, you were out of town. Uh, he was out in the living room with me and I opened your bedroom door to let him back in. And he just somehow tripped on it on his own feet and he <laughs> slammed into the ground. And then lo and behold, 20 minutes later, Catherine came up and, and was, was chewing me out for that. Go way back when. Yeah. And I'm like, what? I, I we can't. don't get. We haven't got one complaint from our new neighbor. No, not a single one, and it's been what, like four months? Yeah, because I mean, we're we're not loud. Catherine just liked to complain a lot. I mean, we did yell a lot, but you can't really hear that. Well, you, in the yeah, you can't room. hear that through the floor. But she, well, she wasn't even. She didn't complain about the yelling. She just complained about Lego. It's all yeah. she complained about. She, they like, were Catherine, stomping. No one else has ever complained. We've had other neighbors. They've never complained. I'm sure fifty percent of the apartment complex has dogs. Yeah, and, and it's also like the people above me are loud. I just don't I don't care. So is it any wonder people are afraid of technology? Technology! But don't worry, I can go back and grind the shit out of this sh sh shit. You know, if if you ever want to give me the other Game Boy, I have a Game Boy Advance too, so I could I could grind some too. Of course. Up on that pole. We should get a pole in our apartment, dude. Would you be down for that? A pole? Yeah. I'm down. But you know what we should do? We should wait until the people that live below us aren't home and then cut a huge fireman's hole through it and put a big pole so we can slide down to their apartment without their permission. <laughs> yeah. What if we got home and the person that lives above us had just put a massive, like, hole with a pole coming through it so they could slide down to our apartment? Damn, if Catherine still lived there, we could have just slid down to her and been like, Sup, Catherine? She'd be like, I am so mad at you boys. You're giving oh, me heart problems. Oh, fuck you! You're, you're weak! Oh, man. Is that gonna kill me? That should be enough to catch it. Just keep trying. Just gotta keep going. No, this isn't gonna kill me. Yeah, but it's the shitty Pokemon you don't care about. That is true. I, d I don't care. You still I, got sh I shouldn't one. waste a potion on that. No, don't waste a potion. The more I try to catch it, the weaker it'll become. I just imagine that we were, uh, we were too loud, so Catherine slides up the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! It makes a slide whistle sound. Boy! She, like, has to grease it up and slide up it. You're giving me heart palpitations. Your dog's walking. I don't like when your dog dog walks around the apartment. Cut his damn feet off. That's what she probably wanted me to do. Uh, and, and she'd say that we're giving her heart problems. All of my heart problems are because of you boys being too loud. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, Catherine. We were loud sometimes. But we were always so nice. I said, I, I was like, Catherine, here's our phone number. Like, if we're too loud, just send us a text. You don't have to report us to apartment security. What did she do every single time? She didn't send me she, a text. She, she, she Nope. She'd report us to apartment security and, and fuck me in the ass. Little did she know, apartment security was on our side. Yeah, bitch got booted. Anyway, um, let's name this one. Uh. Vunt? Okay, but I'm only gonna cut it out of the first one. Okay. Penis. 
Now, I'm sure when I'm listening back, that's really going to sound like you just said the word penis. They're having a hoot and a holler upstairs, aren't they? Yeah, what is that? I have no idea. That's, that's loud. Some, it sounds like kids. And, and fucking they, I'm not going to say their name, but they complain about how loud we are sometimes. I can't believe them. Catherine. Whatever happened to Catherine, you think? Remember Catherine? In the beginning of our channel, uh, when we used to record in our <laughs> living room. probably in an iron lung. <laughs> This woman lived underneath our apartment, and she always complained whenever we'd record, and just in general, she'd complain all the time that we were being too loud. And her Frankenstein monster of a husband. <laughs> so, it's so mean, but it's like... I'm not saying that as a mean way, but he just looked... Apparently, you're the... all. That's all I can picture, because you described him as Frankenstein's yeah, she, monster. She made me go into her apartment once. One time, you were out of town. Did he have bolts in his neck and shit? <laughs> yeah, it's called marriage to Catherine. Um... I, I was just by myself. I'm in my room listening to music with headphones on, by the way. That's how quiet I am. I'm by myself in the apartment, home alone, listening to music with headphones in. She comes up, knocks on the door. She's like, uh, two minutes. I want you to be down in my apartment. We're going to have a little talk. And I'm like, oh, damn it, Catherine. Wait, really? Yeah. So what makes her think she can pull that shit, though? Because she worked for the bill. I right, don't want to bring that. I, I, she, had a, she had that very like stern southern teacher. Like feel like she felt like a third grade teacher that was mad at me, so she, I was like, okay, so like I don't want any problems with her, so I just want to make her happy and then go on, so I can do my own thing. Cause I know if the more mad she is for whatever reason, even if it's irrational, she's gonna take it out on us by calling the apartment saying we're being loud. So I go down to her apartment and she invites me in like silently, and her Frankenstein looking husband sitting on the couch <laughs> staring at me. I'm not trying to be mean. He looks like Frankenstein's mom, <laughs> not in like a mean way. Well, I mean, I guess you can't was say he that. Was big and green? Was he scared of fire? <laughs> he had green skin. <laughs> Top of his head had been sewn back on. When he got too night. close, did she light a match and shoo him away? Was Frankenstein's monster scared of fire? Yeah. I didn't know that. Now I know. Um, but she, like, invites me, and she, she makes me come in her bedroom, first of all. She's like, mm -hmm. come here, come here. And she's like, points up at the ceiling, and she's like, every night, I try to sleep, and all I hear is How is her room, by the way? Her room? Yeah. It's basic. It was, was it nice? Well, she was in the process of moving out, so okay. she had a lot of boxes. But what she was complaining about was, I guess, was your dog in your room. Like, when he Lego. would get up and walk around the room or whatever, <clears throat> she could hear that, and that deeply disturbed her to the core. So I was like, Catherine, I, I've had headphones in. I didn't know, like, the dog was walking on the floor. I, I'm sorry. I should tell him just to fly across the floor maybe and not not put his paws on the floor it's like can you blame the dog for walking he's not making a lot of noise she needs to stretch out every once in a while i think while. what it is i think it's when he would lay down he'd like plop down kind of yeah and he's big so it would make a sound and she said that every night it like scares her awake and she can't get back to sleep and i'm like Catherine, i'm and she had she's like yeah i have a white noise machine and i can hear it over it every single night and i'm like Catherine, i'm sorry uh what 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 do you suggest I do about this? And 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 then the conversation has kind of turned into her trying to sell me her Oriental rug. Uh, she was what like, makes you what makes her think what made her think that you were gonna purchase that after her just pulling that? No, shit? she just like it turned into that. I'm like, Catherine, I'm sorry. I'll try to I'll put the dog on his bed or something so it doesn't make any noise. And then it, she tried to sell me an Oriental rug and a big old like oak uh, cabinet. And she's like, this is the five hundred dollars is four hundred dollars. And I'm like, Catherine, I. Like, I'm a 20-year-old guy. Why do I want to buy an Oriental rug for $500 for my apartment? Like, why? I, seriously, why would I want to buy that? And she kept, she asked me about it several times. In fact, while you were still out of town, she came back up and knocked on the door again. And I was thinking, like, oh, my God, this better not be Catherine. I look through the people. It's Catherine. I'm like, I'm like oh, what did I do this time? What did I do this time? I open the door, and all she asked is, have you thought more about uh, purchasing that rug or the cabinet? And I'm like, I don't think there's any room for that up here. And she's like, well, you can put it in the kitchen. I'm like, Catherine, I don't, I don't, I don't want, want your, an Oriental rug. I don't want your fucking rug, Catherine. It doesn't fit the theme, like, of the apartment. It doesn't fit, like, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah. It's weird. Like, a big, and plus, you have a dog. I have a cat. If we got an Oriental rug, that thing would just be covered in fur. You know, animals could track, like, you take Lego out. Maybe it's rainy. He could get footprints on it. It's like, why are we going to get an expensive Oriental rug when we have pets in a small apartment? It makes no sense. And uh, I basically just made out with her right then on the spot and sent her on her way. and never saw her again. Speaking of making out, I'm kidding. But uh, I guess my general rule of thumb is I'm living in an apartment. I expect to hear noise. I just do. Even if it's 5 a.m., I expect sometimes to hear footsteps. But I think, you know, I when it crosses the line is when it's like, boo, 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 
like hammering like that con- consistently. Like where it sounds like people are neglecting the fact that it's yeah. I I am always I try to be as quiet as I can. I walk on my toes. I I I don't make noise. I always turn my speakers down because i'm always scared of the person below us has never complained once since they moved in there was one time the new people that live that moved into uh the apartment next to us uh i was like playing my music loud at like 10 30 i think not loud i didn't think it was loud but i guess the bow speaker has that you know bass to yep. it so i just they just went they just knocked on the side of the wall and i was like i was like sorry about that and then i was like sorry about that and then they knocked back like just like so it was like this kind little yeah. way of them not not like because they intruding. didn't call security yeah they were just like it was just it wasn't like a boo boo it was just ooh it's a nice oriental rug fire elemental ghost ha 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 thanks professor I thanks, love this professor. little dude let's get a tattoo of him let's get matching tattoos of professor E Gad how about we get a necklace I get one half of his face. On one, you get the other half. No, I get his hair, you get his, his head. His head. I was gonna say, because like, if you only got half of his hair, that'd be really sharp. And if you tripped, that could go right into your throat. And then, you know, you might die. Yes. Outstanding work. You're like a leopard on the hunt. Is that what he said? Yeah. I'm like a leopard on the hunt. But I do like that oriental rug. I remember Catherine tried to sell me an oriental rug for some reason. Did you kick her ass? I wish. She's gonna somehow hear this and then sue me for, for slander. Or a, th a threat. She's gonna say I was threatening her. He threatened me. He said he was gonna kick my ass. And all those, all those months when he was in the apartment above me, giving me a heart attack with his loud feet, <laughs> I, I knew he was oh, gonna eventually one day try to kick my ass. <laughs> You're good. Just... Spit it out, you idiot! I swallowed it. Why? I swallowed it. Why? <laughs> and there's the noise complaint. 